everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got my 22nd birthday haul. Now, this is nuts. I think the first birthday haul I did was my 17th. So we've done 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. This might be my 6th. That's incredible, that's absolutely unreal. I can't quite believe that I'm 22. Like, it's one of them things where obviously it's happened and I'm like, yeah. But it just doesn't seem real. I don't know if you can still tell, but I'm kind of poorly. I uh, wasn't very well for like the past week, but I was like, right, no, we're gonna get on with it. If you watched my birthday vlog yesterday that I uploaded onto my main channel, you've seen uh, what I got up to. I went and, you know, tried to fix myself pretty much. But today I've got the long awaited birthday haul and it's really funny because I feel like they're a really good milestone to kind of go back and watch and see what you look like at the time and things. And in my last birthday, my 21st birthday haul, I do not look like myself. It's really weird. I had these lashes on that were just too big. My, I would never wear that outfit normally. And this year I was like, right, I'm gonna make a real effort to actually look like Emily. And apart from the fact my lips are a bit dark, I do think I actually look like me today. Although my hair just isn't curling at the minute. I don't know why. I think it's because I washed it, straightened it, and then tried to curl it the next day. I think that's what it is. But yeah, I've got my Converse top on that I got for Christmas from my sister. And I just feel like the most Emily version of Emily right now, which I think is so fitting for this video. So yeah, like I said, I uploaded my birthday haul vlog, vlog yesterday. And um, shall we get on with the haul? So first thing I'm gonna start just by like the things you can kind of see in the background. A bunch of my friends got me flowers. Like thank you so much to Han, Stephen, to my managers and to Talia for getting me flowers. That was so lovely. Talia actually got me other presents as well, which I'm a bit like, what the heck girl, you went for it. So let's open these. I'm gonna put my tea down. Actually, I'm gonna put my tea behind me because I don't wanna put it on my laptop because it will definitely fall over. Okay, so Talia said to me, she was like, everything kind of has a reason or like a story behind it. So, woo, Talia. Oh my God, oh, this is so funny. Kind bars. Oh, you're so great. We love some good kind bars. I feel like Talia and I have so many funny memories of things like, I don't know, we just have put ourselves in situations or figured things out about each other in just the most random way and it's so funny. What's this? How to be a grown up. You're doing fine and let me tell you why. That's so cool. Thank you. She said she thought this was really funny. So she gave me this. That's cool. A disposable camera. That's cool. Do you know what? I haven't had one of these for years. This is an outdoor and color film camera. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks, Talia. This is like an unboxing video as well. Ooh, we have a little Mark Jacobs. Like, I guess this is like a vanity bag. That's really cute. Love this. Oh, this is going to be so handy. And then a Swarovski box. Ooh, I think this is a bracelet. Something I'm trying to work on is my jewelry collection just because when I go out, I always wear the same jewelry and it's something I actually got another piece of jewelry for my birthday. And it's just, I don't know, it makes me really happy just to see it all there in the drawer and know that like I can match it with my outfits and stuff. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Talia. Oh, you're so thoughtful. And she, she also got me the uh, flowers, just them ones, the pink ones. So nice of her. Oh, and Talia also got me a box of chocolates as well. She kind of went hard. She went absolutely all out. So my little sister got me this. So this is the Pink and Pure Himalayan Salt. These are bath salts, which is so perfect for me. I like love bath salts. And she also got me a candle. And this is a, it's an airy scented candle. I don't know what it smells like actually. I haven't opened it. But I just thought that was so thoughtful. Like Sophie's like 10 and she got me bath salts, which is such a grown up present, which I love. And she also got me a scented candle, but with like Aries on it. Oh, that's really nice. Aww, she's so thoughtful. She also got me the most lovely card. I love that. It was like, this present really did make my day. From my mom and my dad, I kind of, they always give me a budget and they're like, you know, let us know what you want. And the only thing that I actually kind of wanted or needed this year was new bedding. So this is the autograph from m and 400 thread count duvet set. It's got a duvet cover and pillowcases. I just think this is like gorgeous. I. I've started to really kind of understand that you have to invest in things that you're going to use all the time and love and like wear, especially so like I love investing in like my jackets, my accessories and like my bedding. I got this awesome like fitted sheet, this is so boring, from Dunelm and it's like a really high thread count and I absolutely love it. So I was like for my birthday, I would like, you know, some nice bedding to match. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you to my mom and my dad for absolutely smashing it. I also got some Starbucks gift cards from my neighbors. This was really funny. Uh, I drink Starbucks a lot, although I try not to. I, I try to kind of have coffee at home instead or just not have coffee because it's pretty expensive. So this is really nice. This will get me a good few cuts. So thank you so much. This is like, things like this really do make a difference because 
I stop myself, like I go to Starbucks and I'm like, no, 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 don't do it. Whereas if I had this, I know I can. Okay, uh, the next bits are from my boyfriend and then there's just some other, like my kind of, I say big presents, they are big presents. I bought them for myself um, just because, you know, there's things every year that I crush on and I love and I want to save up for and I'm like, can't justify buying them unless there's a reason. Then it's my birthday and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can buy them. So yeah, I saved up and treated myself to some bits for my birthday. However, uh, yeah, from my boyfriend, I got this pink Starbucks cup. We were at a service station. I was on the way to, uh, we've been to Cornwall. I was on the way to Heathrow dropping him off to go to Dubai and we stopped and they had a pink Starbucks cup and he was like, that's so Emily. And I was like, that is so Emily. So yeah, he got me it for my birthday. Like got it like a month ago, but I only just got it obviously because it was my birthday yesterday. So yeah, I love that. That's gonna get so much use. And he also got me the Bose Sleep Buds. I saw Lydia Millen rave about these like so much and I like I really value my sleep. So I was really interested in these and I had no clue he was gonna get me like get me them. I didn't even like know he remembered me mentioning them to him. But I'm really excited to try these. I think these are gonna be awesome on planes because I just I love sleeping on like public transport on planes and things like that. But if it's noisy it's the most frustrating thing. So yeah, I'm excited for these because you know they're gonna get a ton of use and I'm excited to set them up, like you can set your alarm through them and all things like that. This is re a real kind of unnecessary luxury, which is why it's an amazing birthday present because it's something I would never buy myself, but he just like, you know, treated me to it. So very grateful for these. Okay, I'm gonna start with the thing that you've seen already. If you can see the massive box uh, under the 22 balloons, that is because I made a Louis Vuitton purchase. Now I've been trying to get hold of this bag for about a year and haven't been able to find it. And then um, about, uh, it was at the start of March, maybe? No, end of March, oh no, mid-March. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I managed to locate it. And I am so happy with my new addition. This is the Josh backpack. So it is a guy's backpack, just because the, I have the Palm Springs MM and I have the Palm Springs Mini, but they don't fit my laptops in. Obviously the Mini doesn't, but the, the biggest Palm Springs doesn't fit my laptop in, whereas this does, and it fits it like sideways. I can have it like this way, long, kind of long ways. And this is just like the perfect travel bag. I can fit my laptop, my camera, my everything for like getting on planes and stuff. The straps are solid. So yeah, I'm just so over the moon with this. It's got a pocket on the front, which I kind of end up putting my passport in and things like that. It's a really big pocket and my vlog camera, and then in the back, it's actually got quite a few sections in the back which I was surprised about. So it's got the big one which you can fit like laptop, iPad, and then it's got two kind of smaller pockets. But yeah, I am absolutely over the moon with this. You have no idea how happy I was when um, like I figured out it was in stock. So yeah, that was like my first kind of, like I mean not, it is a birthday present because I got it, you know, I got it for my birthday, but I've been saving up for this for about a year and trying to locate it. So yeah, that is a, uh, very, very happy purchase. Following on, we have a Chanel bag that the tissues all kind of gone a bit gross. So, I was in Dubai recently and there's this bag that I've been trying to get hold of from Chanel. Again, could never get hold of it. And it was just, you know, one of them things that I've been in so many different shops, so many different occasions, tried to locate it. I'm not the type to like, put my name on a list just because I just think it's a bag, you know, I'd rather get it by chance or go into the store and find it. So if you know much about Chanel, you probably know what type of bag it is just from the box and you will know that I use this type of bag a ton. So it's actually in this little dust bag here. Some of you spotted it on my birthday vlog, which made me laugh so much because you're so on it. And I got this in Dubai. So I saw, I went into the Chanel in the Dubai mall and they had it and I was like, I'll try it on. And then they were like, oh, it's the last one. And I was like, well, can you check if there's any in London? There was none, there was none in Manchester and Selfridges or anything. And I was like, okay. Went round, had to think about it. And I was just like, like, I still, I still can't stop thinking about it. So I got it and it was the best decision. This is just like, I, yeah, like, come on. It is a wallet on chain. It is the chevron kind of style in red leather and it's got a kind of pointed, look, it's pointed. Um, this is just brilliant. I love my wallet on chains. I live in my black one. I use it like every single day. I also have a gray one, which I love, although that's quite fragile. I don't know why, the corner's like scuffed on it. It really stops me wearing it, which is a problem. I need to kind of, I need to figure that out. But this feels way sturdier. I don't know why this does not feel fragile at all. But yeah, I was looking for a red wallet on chain for the longest time, could never locate one. And then this came out, but it wasn't available anywhere. 
And I finally managed to get my hands on it. So if you don't know, I'm such a bag person. I never really talk about it on my channel, but this is just like my dream bag. I'm so happy. The CC on this is actually slightly bigger, which is really interesting. I guess because it's like a collection piece and not a classic piece. But yeah, I absolutely love this. It's got a pocket in the back and I just can't wait to, you know, wear this more. I wore this out last night for my birthday, like I said, if you watch my vlog. I wore it for my birthday lunch as well and I'm just absolutely over the moon with this. Like, I love this. And finally, we have a, another Chanel box. Ooh. So, it is a shoe box for those of you that kind of recognize the Chanel box. And again, something that if you have watched me and you kind of, you know, you, you notice the design of things, you'll know that it's something that I wear a lot, which is probably just giving it away totally. Okay. Oh, I haven't seen these since I got them, like, three weeks ago. I haven't even opened it. Oh, they're gorgeous. Oh! Isn't it the best thing when you buy something and then you see it again, like, when you get home or, like, you've got it for a present and you're just so happy with your purchase? These are the Chanel Espadrilles. These are the kind of... I don't know what material this actually is. They're not the leather ones. They're the kind of fabric ones in the white and the black. Now, I have worn my black ones to death. I've worn my navy ones to death. And I have kind of a camel color and black, which are leather, again. But I really wanted some kind of fabric ones just because they're actually really, like they're really comfy. You don't have to wear them in. And these are just so wearable. This is like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt or just in the little dress is so my vibe. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear these. I. I'm so happy. And I got these at Heathrow T5, so I got these 20% cheaper, and same with the Josh Pat Pack, I got it at Heathrow T5, and it was 20% discount. So yeah, like I said, save up, and then I will splurge, but I'll <laughs> always do it sensibly, because I can't bring myself to waste money. This, for me, is just like such a treat, and I'm so happy with them. They are absolutely beautiful. Although, I think, I don't know if I have room for them on my shelf, which is a problem. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging in my dressing room. But yeah, that is everything that I got for my birthday. I actually had easily the best birthday of my whole entire life. I, I was saying to like one of my friends, I feel like every year my birthday is a bit of a letdown just because like people cancel plans or like I won't end up doing what I want to do. But this year I did exactly what I wanted to do. I got up, I went out for breakfast, I then saw my friends and went for lunch and then I went out for dinner with my boyfriend and went for drinks and stuff. And it was just really nice and like I wouldn't have changed a thing. I saw pretty much, I, I saw my family the night before, but on the day I saw all the people that mean anything to me and it was just all happy and you know, just a great day. So yeah, I feel really, really grateful to have spent yesterday, you know, with all the people I love doing the best things. And I got some really, really gorgeous presents. So I'm really lucky. But yeah, I do really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. I will link my 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st birthday hauls down below if you want to have a nosy and see how I have evolved. I think the funniest thing that's changed is my accent. Like totally, completely. It's so funny. If you hear me, well, I'm poorly right now, so I don't really sound like me, but if you listen to me in the first one and then you listen to me in like my last year one, so different, it's hilarious. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you so very soon. Bye. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's all